Hello, and welcome back to the Universe Zoom Out. My name is Lily Steves, and today we will cover part 2 of the Zoom Out. If you haven't watched part 1, go check it out before we start. Today we return to Sarah. Sarah is still crying on the ground. Last episode my friend Joshua covered the big stuff. Today I'll be covering the small stuff. We start at 1 meter again, but this time we begin to zoom in. At 10 centimeters, we could see Sarah's scratched hand up close. On the top left corner, you can see Sarah's bracelet mentioning her love against kindergarten. At 1 centimeter, the scratch is somewhat showing detail. At 1 millimeter, the scratch is now showing red, indicating that it's still bleeding. At 100 microns, we now see a small cell getting ready to invade the body. At 10 microns, the cell can be seen in more detail, many cell parts are now visible. 1 micron, and now we see the cell nucleus. 1000 angstroms. We can various chromosomes looping in the nucleus. 100 angstroms, the chromosomes reveal a world full of DNA molecules. 10 angstroms, now we could see the atoms that build the DNA molecules. 1 angstrom, we come face to face of the carbon atom and the electron fields inside. 1000 picometers, and the only thing we see now is thousands of electrons swarming everywhere around us. 100 picometers, and now we start seeing the carbon nucleus as a tiny pink dot. 10 picometers, the nucleus is easier to see now. A carbon nucleus has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. If one of these particles were lost, the atom can lose its mass. 1 picometer, and now the only thing we see is the nucleus. At this point, units are unnecessary, as we start zooming inside the proton, we see nothing but quarks now. This is our stopping point, we've reached the limits of matter and space. The only thing we see now are quarks moving everywhere inside the proton. As we reverse our trip to normal size, we realize that we live in two universes, one very big including Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way, and even our local group. Another very small world showing cells, molecules, atoms, protons, and even the tiny quarks. Goodbye, for now.